Hello, my name is John Hayes, and I want to visit with you today to discuss why data protection has become a highly critical piece of businesses' IT infrastructure due to a lot of recent developments. Just a few years ago, it was all about protecting the critical data assets that were within the data center, protecting what was within your walls. In just a few short years, a lot has changed. We know that the amount of data growth has been huge and it's continued to going to multiply unbelievably. IDC is predicting that there will be over 44 zettabytes by 2020. A lot of this is being driven by many new trends, whether it's social apps, cloud applications, the internet of things, and mobile apps. The idea of big, pre big data is bringing increased pressure on protection and it's pushing the existing data protection systems that are in place today to meet SLAs while yet facing tremendous growth. The part that is a concern is that in a recent survey of over 3,000 IT professionals that more than 51% of the companies admitted that they had no plan for protecting these assets. And those who did, 71% of them, weren't confident that if they, they were really forced to, that they would be able to recover data from all of their existing platform systems today. It's been estimated that the total cost of downtime has, is now approaching $1.7 trillion. And this is a number, of, again, associated to data loss, and downtime. And of the 58% of the responding IT professionals who, to the survey that admitted that if they've already experienced the losing cloud application data. Some pretty scary numbers. Another thing that is compl complicating matters is the pressure from the application owners who now want to be able to do these things themselves. They want to be able to have the control and the visibility over the data protection. They're looking for data protection also to be more automated. All of these are new requ requirements that were, weren't even requested just a few short years ago. These new demands and the requirements means that organizations will have to take data protection and make it a core pillar into their overall IT strategy. One thing that we do know is that not all data or applications are created equal. Some applications are mission critical to the success of a business, while other applications, while certainly important to the business, don't have that absolute necessity of being available at a finger's touch. That's why there is different RTOs and RPOs based upon what the value of the data is and then also how it affects your business. These requirements range from being always continuously available to down to being like the long-term uh, retention and archives. Snap, and then backups, and archive. This is all under protection storage. The thing that is unique about EMC's data protection solution is their ability to provide data protection across this entire set. And there was a study done on different types of data protection strategies that was done over 20, 24 different countries. And it was learned that the customers that use data protection from one single vendor 
had the least amount of downtime when it was compared to companies that would utilize two or three um, different solutions from a multitude of vendors. Another thing that we've been seeing in the way of organizations is the way that they consume their infrastructure. This is not only changing the way the infrastructure is deployed, but how the data protection is being deployed also. As an example, today there's still a, an unbelievable tremendous amount of applications that are likely to stay on-prem in-house. Now, whether this is the more standard traditional infrastructure, or could it be the more, you know, something that's becoming quite common, is the virtualization piece of it. The amount of the data in these environments is driving it these changes is how the data protection should be viewed. Also, the other thing is that we're seeing significant changes is in the cloud. Data can be set up whether it's on-prem or a public cloud. When, and just basically, where is that um, information born at? It might be a SaaS application that drives that, or it might, it might actually originate in the cloud also. And the other thing that we have been seeing so much more of is really a hybrid of all of this, whether it's some stuff might be SaaS driven, virtualization, more and more specialization is causing the hybrid model to become much more prevalent in a lot of the IT environments that we're working with. IT executives are seeing that their companies need data protection everywhere. Not just located you know, within their four walls, but everywhere across there. Companies are choosing EMC for data protection because of their capability to provide data protection everywhere across all the different deployments and all the different capacity that they can get from this one provider. So I wanna share a little bit of some of the unique capabilities that EMC has. EMC just recently um, introduced storage integration data protection. This is a revolutionary solution that EM EMC will take their primary storage and protection and be able to And that provides a new way to provide the capability and performance of snapshots and the functionality of backups. The reason this is so important is that with traditional backups, you were always required to have a backup server to copy your data from the primary storage into the protection storage. With the way that EMC is doing it now, you don't need that backup server. Um, it's been eliminated from the environment because it protects the data directly from the primary to the protective storage. By doing this, it will allow EMC to um, do so many things so much quicker and faster. So they can do, you know, it's a, they've seen 20 times faster capability for the backups. It eliminates the application hits that it, that it always was taking before the impacts. And of course, what this also does is it supports the future growth. So what this ends up doing is there's no backup impact with the application. So it ends up allowing the database administrators and the app owners to control their own data protection and their recovery. Then the thing that you'll have with this solution is that you will always have your SLAs as they continue to grow, even though your environment is growing to 20 to 40 to 60 terabytes, you're already prepared for that future growth with the way that EMC has implemented the storage integration data protection. 
Providing solutions across data protection is just one more way in which EMC continues to change data protection. The creation of integrated data protection is just the beginning. As we talk about um, where things are going, workloads are also ch changing. Where they run today might not be where they run in the future. EMC is providing customers the flexibility and choice through their software-defined data protection strategy. By introducing an all software version of their protection storage, customers will then have the true flexibility of why EMC, they should look at it for tomorrow. And what that really does provide is the flexibility and automation And plus, this will be com complemented with like new capabilities such as enhanced analytics, reporting, and federated searches. EMC will be providing customers the ability to support all of their workloads regardless if it's on-prem, off-prem, public cloud, private cloud, putting it all together will provide the flexibility to run the data protection where it's needed. EMC does have a couple of examples of customers that have implemented the EMC data protection. Um, one of those is in Fulton County, Georgia. The backups and recovery process that they were using just were not meeting their SLAs at all. They had been using tape, and plus they had multiple different backup applications. By using EMC's data protection solutions, which includes Avamar and Data Domain, they were able to get completely rid of their tape and their infrastructure and reduce their backup windows by 90%. So they took completely out of the tape and had a 90% increase on their backup. And that really provides them to be able to be ready for the future. So, and then the other things that also brings with this is being able to do their backup so quickly, they were able to move a much quicker or be able to set up a longer retention period for recoveries. So they were able to expand that. Another one is Loomis. Loomis is an international cash handler that had a network of 200 locations. And what they were struggling with was to protect their Microsoft Exchange and SQL environments, and they were using a tape solution. EMC was able to reduce their Exchange um, backups by 75%. And then they also were using their SQLs. They also did a significant drop in that also. Plus, the, one of the things that they saw was a true dollar cost to their bottom line that, or a dollar savings cost, was that they were able to eliminate $130,000 due to server saving. And what that ended up allowing them to do is being able to, those server costs, they were able to see that truly on their bottom line. The last one is Clark Construction. Clark Construction runs their business on Google Apps, and they do everything on there. One of their employees had lost all of their emails, and the thing that Clark, by using the EMC data protection, was able to, with, within three clicks, were able to do, you know, a protected, all their cloud apps, and it was eliminated all their risk, and just simplified everything for them. So Clark knows that if something does happen to their database, they can get it back up, and 
be going very quickly and easily. So data loss and downtime, when that happens, it can absolutely destroy a business. This is why it's so critical that data protection is a key component of your overall IT strategy. EMC will provide the flexibility and the capability across all the entire data center. So what you're looking at is just data protection everywhere. Partnering with EMC means that customers can know that as their data grows and their deployments change, customers will have the flexibility to be able to meet what their current requirements are and what their future requirements are. Thank you.